Hmm, kissing. It's how we express love and affection. For centuries, couples have kissed to entice some romance. Mothers have kissed their children to create a strong bond. And even children kiss during the silliness of playtime. But have you ever wondered how much bacteria is transferred during a kiss? After all, the mouth hosts more than 700 kinds of bacteria. It turns out, just one kiss from your partner can send a whole lot of bacteria to your mouth. 80 million to be precise. A recent article in the journal Microbium shows a 10 second French kiss can spread 80 million bacteria between mouths. A significant difference in height between kissing partners can also result in a greater exchange of saliva downward to the shorter participant. Mononucleus, or mono, is the commonly known kissing disease. Infectious microbes that spread through saliva do so by sticking to the inner surface of the cheeks, the mouth, the tongue, or the teeth. An example is the bacterium Streptococcus, which can cause an array of infections, including gum disease and strep throat. Luckily, the researchers say the germs are normal and part of a healthy bacteria mix that lives in the human mouth, helps the body function and can help protect it from disease. Researchers also discovered that the bacteria on the tongues of couples were much more similar than of two strangers. Couples sharing the same diet or toothpaste can be a reason why they have similar bacteria. And of course, the shorter the kiss, the more platonic, the less of the risk of transferring any germs. So go ahead, pout your mouth and give someone a big fat kiss.